We all have a Guilty Pleasure TV show, a show that we don't think is very good quality, but we still love it to bits. You can say that about any medical drama you watch, like The Good Doctor. You can catch me watching that sometimes. I don't think it's good at all, but I watch it and I get some enjoyment out of it, I won't lie. But when I think of my greatest Guilty Pleasure TV show, I think of Chuck with the leads Zachary Levi and Yvonne Srahaski. Damn, that woman can do anything to me. My goodness. Anyways, I love Chuck for his fault and all. It's not the most well acted show. It can be corny at times. And funny enough, for an action show, it doesn't have the best cut action, really being janky sometimes. And some storylines feel either repetitive or unnecessary, especially at the buy more. And the final season isn't the best. It kind of goes off the rails for an already off the rail show. You know? But I still love this show more than some of the best made shows out there, like Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul, and Barry. I love them too, don't get me wrong, but not as much as Chuck. And that's what makes it a guilty pleasure show for me, because I enjoy it so much, even if the story is so out there, being a spy action romance dramedy show, yet I love it because of the lovable characters and cast. You should definitely watch it yourself and see, because I feel like you can watch and grow to love everyone in this recurring cast, because Chuck, Sarah, Casey, Morgan, Jeffster, Ellie, and my dearly beloved Devon Woodcomb, or Captain Awesome, because he's clearly just awesome, all get their moment. Those who show the importance of likable characters and how they can carry a show and how they can make you really love this show as much as you do. Overall, that's why I love Chuck for his fault and all, and why I believe it's the greatest guilty pleasure show for me. Come to think of it, this was the Better Call Saul spinoff slash prequel after all. 